Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Cafe Max. Hi Zebra, it's finally starting to feel a bit like fall. The day is quieter than usual. Don't you feel kind of calm? Oh, so does Evie. Ah. Oh, watch out behind you. There's a new guest. Hmm? I feel like I just saw something. Trim. Oh, it's a hat trim. When did it get here? I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's so cute. So this is the brand new event Pokemon. Hehe, <laughs> it seems like the two of you are connecting with each other. Eevee, you gained a new friend. Why don't we invite our new friend Hatrim to enjoy our cafe offerings? Zebra, I would love to. During events, special Pokemon who usually don't visit the cafe might stop by. If you serve something tasty and build up friendships with special customers, they might help out at the cafe, just like other Pokemon do. All right then, so our special customer is um, Hatrim, which is weird, because usually most of the custom, or not custom, but like event Pokemon have been either starters or legendary Pokemon or just particularly rare and well-known ones. Hatrim, as far as I understand, is a pretty, like, you know, normal Pokemon in the general scheme of things, but that's fine, still a very cool Pokemon. And let's see what else we got going on here. There is the Hatrim Challenge one out of four. I'll be working through this. I'm a little late to the game. It's October 18th. This ends on the 21st, so. Yeah, we also did get something finished at the Cafe Grand Prix, and we got in third. That's the best we've played so far. So that's gonna get us 2,500 acorns. Awesome, really happy to see that then. Um, I don't know when the next one is gonna be. Okay, so we have 20 hours for the next one. We'll see about that. For right now, we'll just get the next 10 done, and hopefully we'll unlock Hatrim in that time. So I do wanna check out other news, because I think they did announce a couple of other things. So. First off, a special cafe challenge card is now available. Has all that stuff. Just have to play to earn the rewards. But, oh, Halloween is coming to Pokemon Cafe next. So the, the cafe decor and offerings will get a Halloween look to them during the event period. Now you can enjoy Pokemon and Halloween together. A Pokemon you do not normally see might stop by because of the festivities. Oh, and I think it's gonna be Mimikyu. Uh, changes redesign entrance to the Pokemon invite area. So it's like a whole ha Halloween event. That's pretty cool. And yeah, Mimikyu is going to appear starting on the 21st. So yeah, pretty cool stuff there. We'll definitely be checking that one out just like we are for this one. But for another, the best thing to do is to start with Order 261, a new recipe that we'll use Charmander for. Sounds like fun to me. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so this is a new thing. So 16 um, executing to be popped and they're in this little bubble. It doesn't even explain what this is. It just starts. Huh. Oh, maybe can only be popped by power-ups. That'll be the first one that encapsulates something and can only be popped by power-ups. So maybe I should have saved up a little bit more. We'll do that for right now. As you can see, ta-da! I got some of it done. So that definitely is how this works. We're going to want to chain up some power-ups though, for sure. So while that is ready to go, I am not. There's another one. And then back it up a little bit. Yeah, it would have been better once they were like when they were all combined and stuff, but or at least closer together. And I'm sure that the megaphones would also work. Oh, here we go. Yeah, do that. Perfect. And then we should be good just to get those five. Okay, we did that with seven turns remaining. So that will definitely get more difficult as we move forward. But I guess it's some kind of like smoothie ice cream kind of thing. We'll, we'll check out the recipes at the end of today's episode. But there's the star for Lucaria. He's getting closer, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, now we have Curlia coming up. We'll use Munchlax. And I might start with like a power up or something. Cause I feel like these are just going to get more difficult. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, it's weird that it's like jelly beans. 80,000 points, five pumpkins, 12 megaphones. So I think it was a good idea to do what I did. I'm trying not to mix things up too much. but I can push everything over just like that. Cause are there any pumpkins? Yeah, there are pumpkins that are, oh, that got a couple of them. Very good. There are a couple of pumpkins that are stuck in the little pink bubbles. I don't know what the pink bubbles are supposed to be though. It's sort of weird. I guess I'll just pop this one for now and hope that a megaphone also goes off with it. I mean, it does, and it did break it a little bit. Cool. We'll get more Munchlax here. I should probably combo up stuff though, if I have the chance. I've noticed that the, the power-ups are sort of charging up real fast today. Except this time. <laughs> All right. 
Got it. Uh, and I guess I'll do this one. We still have six megaphones to get. And that'll be actually knocking it down to five. Pretty good stuff. And if I could make this happen, I don't think it's gonna happen that way, okay. So if I could just do that one. One pumpkin remaining here. I guess I don't have any power-ups, so let's make one. Just like that. And then use this to break the pumpkin. All right, we win. So that one was certainly a little bit more difficult, but I'm very glad that we were able to use the little power-up at the beginning that we sort of selected to help us out a little bit more. That's an extra star for Curlia. What is she doing? Uh, six out of 31. On level two, trying to get to level three. Well, oh, I love that upstairs section. Very fancy. Oh, and here's Jigglypuff. Okay. We'll play as Togepi, and we'll hop in. Okay, order 263 is gonna be 70,000 points, one combo of 30, and then four milk. Ooh, the milk's a bit of a complication. So I see, obviously, like a lot of Squirtle. Oh, I probably should have, you know what? Yeah, probably not the best move, because while there's a lot of Squirtle, there's a ton of Togepi in the center. Let's just keep to that. That's definitely not 30 of them, right? One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll need a little bit more, so we'll leave that be. Okay, that's enough for that. Oh, perfect. Maybe not. Um, Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there's that milk and the other thing were right next to each other and I really messed it up. Darn. Okay, well there's even more Togepi, so I guess that's enough for the 30, right? Yep, 31, 34, nice. Okay, well, that was something. That'll at least make it even easier to build up some stuff. Can I push this over there real quick? Right there, perfect. Oh, push that milk over that way. The only problem is that this milk is all stuck in there and the container is out this way. So I'm gonna do everything I can to get it out, but that is gonna be very challenging. Either which way, I'm concerned about that. We might have to redo this one because I don't see how I could do either one of those things. Okay, please, will help me out here. That's the wrong direction. <laughs> oh no, there's no way. There's just no way you can do that. No, no, no. Very carefully, push it. Ah, oh, you just, you can't. You can't do that. Okay, so out of turns, we are not gonna redeem that one because we're sort of stuck in the same situation if we do. Let's keep the containers out of there. So the first thing to do would be to link up as many squirtles as possible. Once again, trying to be very careful. Oh, one just got in there. Oh, now it's going back out. Good. You knock it out like that, maybe. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's gonna be best here. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. There we go, there's the power up. But a milk got in there. Push it away, push it away. Into there, and oh my gosh, game, stop. <laughs> oh, it just doesn't like me. Okay. I'm just trying to push it just like that, excellent. So that should make the milk match up. Then we can definitely do something like that. Whew. Stressful. Okay, so now that those are Yeah, pop all of that. Come on, come on, yes! All right, that's all I really needed. I got the link of 30 before. Could probably get another one right here, right? And I am definitely going to have to try to because, yeah, there it is. <laughs> we wanna make a score big enough to move forward. Glad I didn't have to spend acorns there. I knew I could do this one. It was just about that trick of making sure none of the pieces of the milk get sort of stuck in the center because it's really hard to get them out. Either that or get them all in the center. <laughs> you gotta choose one or the other there. Either way, let's play as Snubble now to get some extra stars as Squirtle. Hmm, 30,000 points, five chocolate bars, four whipped cream, and four tomatoes. I think I wanna start with the Snubble. There's a couple whipped cream in here, so I wanna sort of do as much damage as I can to them as well. There we go. 
And it, it'll probably be in my best interest just to let that save up a bit. Hmm. There we go. There we go, okay, that's not too bad. And that tomato will hopefully just fall straight in. Indeed it does. Because the chocolate will break, you know, by popping things next to it. Okay. Yep, get that. Oh, that's still not breaking. It, it takes a lot of hits to break the chocolate, I have noticed. There. That's broken. We can definitely get that too. And that is the second to last tomato. Yeah, get that in there. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, How are we gonna do this? If we could just get that in there like that, perfect. And then just shove it in. Yep, yeah, we got it! <laughs> wow, that was the close on the very last turn. It's always the tomatoes that make things scary, right? The tomatoes and the milk are the two worst, like, level stipulations. Squirtle's so close to level two. Putting in a lot of time with that one. And what do we got next for order 265? It's gonna be Starly. Hi, Starly. We'll play as Meowth, sure, why not? Don't get to play as Meowth too often, even though it's becoming more common. 35,000 points, 14 Pikachus, and five chocolate bars. Definitely looks like if we could get rid of some... Oh, and I missed some there, whoops. Hmm. We'll definitely do this. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll go for Meowth again. Just trying to break that one chocolate at the top, and then... I guess use this one here. Oh, you know what? We can do it all at once. I'm being silly. There we go. That certainly helps. Because remember, we're supposed to be linking up a bunch of Pikachus for this one. Okay. I see a lot of Manchino. So I'll be going for that one next. There we go. Uh, That is not what I wanted. Oh, that's a concern. Okay, I just need one more Pikachu. So the Pikachu's right here, also the chocolate bars are. Okay, so if I just, whoop, whoop, got it. Another one finished on zero turns remaining. Not too bad. But yeah, I'm very excited for some of the things coming up in the game. I wanna see what that Halloween event is going to be like, and that's exciting as well, because hopefully that means we'll see some other holiday events coming soon. Either way, Order 266 will be for Togepi. We'll be playing Charmander. Hmm. 70,000 points, 12 marshmallows, seven olipits, and 12 vegetables. Okay, so we can pop those without too much of an issue. Right now it's working through the cheese and getting as many points as possible on the way. Okay, I see plenty of Squirtle. Okay, one more hit on both cheeses should be good, but I just, I can't seem to make that happen, can I? There we go. Hit the marshmallows and the cheese. That'll get rid of it right away. Not bad. And now we can start getting some matches in there. That'll certainly make a bit of a difference. Ooh, definitely get all these marshmallows while we have the chance we missed one. Oh no. Okay. Darn, okay, well I got the marshmallow out of that. I didn't think I was going to, but I surprised myself there. We are sort of running out of time, or turns. Sort of the same thing here. How do I wanna do this? I guess for right now, yeah, let's definitely send these down into the thing. Hmm. Oh, that's really bad though. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it then. Hmm, well actually, nope, that was silly. <laughs> not what I was intending, but I guess we gotta try again. And I also have not gotten enough vegetables either, so this whole thing is sort of a mess. Maybe I should have just restarted, but 
Oh no, no, come on. Not really how it has to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna have to restart this one just totally. Okay, but the marshmallows are available. It's possible to... Nope. Ah, oh, darn. Yeah, we're just gonna restart. I don't wanna spend 1,300 gems on that. Our acorns, not gems. I know we can do this one now. It's just not easy. Um. So the vegetables are something I need to be a little bit more concerned about this time, I think. It's so hard to get the icons in the angle that I want. How am I not damaging the cheese on the bottom? It's a mystery to me. But I guess I did that well enough. Um, I think I'm gonna hit these ones. Okay. I didn't mean to get the Charmander there, but I can at least get into here, break some of the cheese. While we're working on the power-ups anyways, I definitely need to just sort of multitask over here. I think that is certainly something I can do. All right. Let's get rid of those marshmallows. Somehow some of the olives got pushed all the way up there. Oh, that was a pretty good one. It's gonna clear some of the olives. I just wanna get rid of that one marshmallow, thank you. Three moves remaining, break that. And then, oh, you know what, I should have saved this. Okay, what I might have to do here as like an evasive maneuver, right there, boop. Wait, but I still need two vegetables. Oh, this level's really tough. Um, oh, oh, that doesn't count as a move, I always forgot. That's crazy. There we go, two vegetables. When in doubt, use one of the free power-ups, right? I have a good chunk of them, so I try to use them sparingly for that exact reason. So what's going on next? For order 267, oh, there's Hatrum. Special visit, and the first visit. Look, Zebra, Hatrum is here. It's not a Pokemon we usually see around here. Hopefully our yummy offerings turn into a fan of our cafe. Me too. I really hope that as well. Uh, We'll play as Jigglypuff, oh, that'll be great. Haven't played as Jigglypuff too much, so that's good to see. Um, and we have a lot of stars to earn up for Hatrum, I'm sure. 95,000 points, three pumpkins, 28 caramel, and 10 whipped cream. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. That's gonna turn some things into whipped cream, whether we like it or not. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Let's definitely double up on power-ups. I almost got all the caramel gone pretty quickly too. I was a little bit worried about that. Nice. Okay, that's gonna work away one of the pumpkins and give us a lot more Jigglypuff. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Cause they're all sort of in the corner here, which is very opportunistic for me. Just get it like that, and there goes most of the pumpkins. And then if we could just angle this up just right, uh, it might not happen. I'll try that. Oh, uh, we still have to get a much better score than this, though. So you know what, let's work through it. That wasn't all of them, but it was still a pretty good amount. Okay. Just a little bit more. Yeah, because we got the whipped cream now. And that should be plenty. There we go. Okay. And we had two turns left for that one. So we had that one hiccup with the previous level, but before that, I mean, beyond that, uh, we're doing pretty well. Oh, and we get some bonus stars from Enchino here, the friendship bonus. Sounds good to me. Okay. I like seeing Jigglypuff sing because it's just very fitting for Jigglypuff. Oh, and we also have some rewards ready. Yep, okay. So clear Pokemon icons. We need to com complete three more orders. Have Hatchum join the staff, I'm working on it. Uh, so order 268 with Pikachu. I would love that, three bonus stars. So 
Yeah, let's see how this goes. That's a lot of Pikachu. 50,000 points, 16 sugar cubes, three tomatoes, and three nuts. So I forget which way, okay, yeah. Pikachu's power up goes up. So honestly, it might be worth their while just to do that. Oh yeah, the electricity. I gotta remember how that works. I could've done much better there. Because honestly, Pikachu's power up is one of the best in the game. In my opinion, at the least. Just the way that it has sort of that teardrop shape. Okay, so we gotta use that. Oh no, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh, that did not do at all what I needed to do. Um, it's fine, live and learn, right? I'm just trying to get the tomatoes to do the tomato things they need to do. They don't seem interested. Come on, there we go. One of them got in the basket there, excellent. Because if I just angle it, even a shorter power up like that, there's all the sugar cubes gone. So now we're just worrying about the nuts and the tomatoes. Don't go in there, come on, go into the basket. Thank you. Now I just gotta sort of hope that we can make the rest of this work. Because there's two in the nuts gone. There we go. So is that all the tomatoes clear? It is. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, that was close. Almost went into the funnel. So with some quick moves there, we got it done. Not a bad level at all. Some bonus stars from Enchino. Getting it up to 12. Cool. And order 268 with Curlia. So we only have a couple more orders left to do here, but I'm happy with the progress we've made. Oh, we got some milk. 100,000 points, 40 vegetables, and eight milk. That's a lot of veggies. But hey, at least it's healthy. There we go. So yeah, we don't really wanna worry too much about the milk just yet, because we need more power-ups anyways. We just wanna worry about hitting as many of the vegetables as possible. All right. So now, I guess, we, we still need to get vegetables. Let's focus on that, but I can also focus a little bit more on the milk. Huh. Okay, so with that clear, I was very focused on trying to make that work. We just need to get the, the milk out or the canisters in there, both of which are sort of challenging to do. There we go. Oh, there's one. There's two. We got just one more to sort of, I just wish I could select it specifically. Whoa. Whoa, the game's, what was that? The game sort of paused. Okay, I'm just gonna redeem. Just gonna redeem. Um. Oh, this is such a mess. But if I could just, no game, come on. And just mix it into all that. There we go, there we go, that's our best chance. But they're getting farther away, <laughs> please stop. Wow, that's just not fair. I really don't wanna deal with this again, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Come on. Yes, that's all I wanted. I really don't like that. But it's in the past. We got 11 stars from Meowth, and we have, what, two more levels left to tackle in the, no, no, this is gonna be the last level we do for today. We'll use Munchlax to get Steeny two more stars, getting Steeny to level two, so that's cool. And for this Order 270, we got the Jelly Beans. Order 270, 200,000 points, 26 hunting, 13 popcorn, and 12 megaphones. So it seems like most levels have actually been quite survivable, but the ones that are tough are really tough. That's just something I've noticed that's been going on with the game. Okay, well that power-up's a bit stuck back there, but hopefully we can earn up more. Okay, Pikachu is everywhere, so it makes sense just to... Hmm. Do a bit of that. We got 10 turns remaining here. I don't know what else. Does Munchlax turn them into the megaphone? It does. Probably should have done Pikachu there. 
That wasn't so bad, though. Right there. Ooh, come on. The honey spreads real fast, and it could be a big problem. But that was great. Come on. Gotcha. Ooh, that's gonna be enough of the honey. Yeah, yeah. All right, not bad. And then the other two megaphones. So at this point, we just need to make a big score with the points, and we'll be in the clear. I think we can handle it. Gotcha, 52 linked in. That might be one of our biggest links ever. And we had three turns left. Don't even need them. There's two stars. And that'll be level two for Steamy. Steamy has sure has learned a lot. You'll get more time to link each combo now, which is exactly what we wanna see. Um, so yeah, as you can see, that's all those 10 done. We can mark that for completing orders. And I don't know if there's really too much more with that, we can figure out. Apparently, we're second place with the stars right now. Hopefully, that continues. But hey, let's do one of the tea parties now. Hmm. I'm hoping that we could re-roll this enough that we would get uh, half trim. I don't know if I should go for that. It gets more expensive with each roll. One more time. Yes, awesome. That was a really expensive thing to do, but I really want to make progress with half trim because I'm at a limit of time here. I'm happy that we get to play as Jigglypuff today, though, because I feel like we haven't played as much with her as I'd like, so I'm glad that we got that done. Item one, 120,000 points, eight sugar cubes, 20 whipped cream, and five pumpkins. Actually looks like it could be a tough one. Definitely break the ice cubes as much as we can. Okay, all ice cubes broken. Great way to break the ice on this level, right? Awesome. And, boom. That gets rid of a good chunk of them. All right, we're making great progress with us. Yep. Very focused on this one, because I'm trying to get as many of the whipped cream in one go as possible, because it's everywhere. There's a big, a big mess of it right now. Okay, that was pretty good. Finally, the whipped cream is done to sort of being all over the place. It says there's five pumpkins left over. Where are they? I see two here. Okay, I guess they haven't fallen in yet. That's concerning. We have six turns remaining, which is you know, something, but. Not quite enough to deal with all that. That's crazy, that's a lot of pumpkins. All right, push this one over there as much as I can, simply so that I can hit one and chop the other one in half. I don't know how this is gonna work. Broke the last of the sugar cube. Now I can um do that one. I'm a little bit worried, to say the least. But I think we could do this, actually. Maybe. You know what? If I didn't do that... Okay. Whatever. <laughs> if I had actually used a, uh, one of the power-ups first and did that, maybe could have made it work. But we didn't. Spent a lot of acorns today. It is what it is. There's an extra star for Hatchroom. I'm really excited for that. And we can get another star for Hatchroom right here in a moment. We'll play as Herdier or a Stoutland. The evolution of Herdier. <laughs> 50,000 points, 12 sugar cubes, six nuts, and three pumpkins. That didn't break as many sugar cubes as I was, excuse me, hoping. I don't know what was with that. Sometimes it just ends in such a weird way. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's like the touch screen just sort of getting confused and thinking I'd let go of it. Oh, here we go. Keep the nuts all together like that. Right there, I hit all the pumpkins as well. Exactly what I wanted. I wish we had a megaphone either going to the left or to the right, but what I could try to do here, and with not too much luck, I didn't hit any of them there, according to the game. I don't agree with the game. <laughs> I feel like that should have hit at least one of them, but 
It is what it is. I probably should have done the Pikachus there. Okay. That should be wide enough to get rid of the pumpkins. And then, oh, easy enough. Hit that there, we win. Okay, this level was a little bit easier than the last one. And it gets us more stars for it too. So for Blossom and for Hatrim, that's two extra. So there's only one more star left for Hatrim. We'll be doing that probably in the next episode, I can only imagine. So that'll be pretty cool. Okay, cool stuff. Um, oh, and we got a gift to open up. Yep, there we go. So it looks like we got some cool stuff on the horizon, by the way. I don't wanna spoil it too much, but it, it's here. Um, let's take a look at uh, the recipe book because there is a new recipe, of course, we've been using in today's episode. That is the Bouncy Brion Soda. Okay, it's a soda. I, I didn't know if it was or not. It seems a little fancy for a soda. Um, a refreshing soda inspired by Brion dancing in the water. Enjoy the, the bouncy texture of the gummies. Yeah, I see how it looks. It sort of resembles Brion. Um, cool. So yeah, that was awesome. And I don't think there was anything too much we did here. We, we sort of took like a little look at Jigglypuff, which I, I think that's maybe the first or second time only we've played as Jigglypuff. We're very close to unlocking some of these other Pokemon though. Um, like I said, Hatcher most likely next episode, so we'll check her out then. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Cafe Mex. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.